What is going on guys? It is Lego KC and it is about two in the morning. I do apologize. I missed you guys on Sunday. We spent all day at Arrowhead. Um, so I didn't get a daily upload and I do apologize. As you guys can tell, I have pretty much no voice just from yelling my head off, but that's not what we're about today. We've got Newt's case of magical creatures. This is set 75952, 694 pieces. And man, does this set look like it has a lot of details. Just like Ninjago, I absolutely love the colors. So being able to see the, the pinks and the light blues and the purples really excites me, especially the white and gold. I, I've always loved the colors. And there seems to be a lot of detail and a lot in this set. So really, really looking forward to it. There's four mini figures, Queenie Goldstein, Tina Goldstein, Newt. Skimander and Jacob Kowalski terrible terrible with the names I butcher those really bad but um, as a fan of Harry Potter and, and a fan of Fantastic Beasts you think I'd be able to pronounce that at this point but looking at the back of the box here you guys can see one two and three so take a look up at the top you see we've got a closed case and then it opens right up into Newt's just magnificent never-ending suitcase that he carries with him everywhere now you can kind of see, um, working around the box here, just the different details that go into it, along with the interactive minifigures and just all the different details in this set. There's just incredible color. There's, I mean, just all kinds of different interactive things. You can kind of see every piece of this set has something to do with the case. So let's get this box open here and, and just see what contents we're looking at. So we've got two books here. There's a random wing. Okay, so there's only one wing that came out of the box. Assuming they just separately packaged it, we've got the two books. And then, of course, oh, there's stickers. I'm going to put those off to the side. Two books. It looks like, what, six stickers. So nothing too intense on the stickers. Nothing crazy. And then you've got the random wing. So let's see what that's about. Let's get this built. just dive right into the suitcase this is very detailed you've got the lock right there ns newt's initials looking at the uh the dimensions and, and kind of around the suitcase itself you can kind of see all the different details and on the back you've got all the gadgets and everything that kind of get um, the functionality of the suitcase getting it to open and come apart there's the roof to the house and you can see the egg right inside of there and that just is a little ridge to show that it closes and, and stays pretty flush. It reminds me a lot of the Once Upon a Brick book, just how the functionality of it works. So I see uh, a lot of similarities here. There's the bottom and kind of just a little 360 view of what it looks like standing up. If you guys want to buy this and use this as a normal briefcase, I highly recommend it. It's very stylish. Very, very stylish. <laughs> So let's get this bad boy open here. We've got 
the top kind of sits and we'll, we'll raise the roof just for the video itself and and pop the ladder out here so opening it up it's got a little clamp out there oh, we lost the top but it's got little clamps so it actually does stay closed when you close it it's not something you have to worry about it coming open and closed and you see the top there you know very very flexible and and uh, and its movement easy to move up and down now starting on the right side you got a lot more of like the foliage outdoorsy of the suitcase you see his egg right there and then of course you've got his house his little indoor part some foliage on the outsides there that little piece of meat is supposed to go right there in that sink designer thing but it doesn't fit very well and then of course you see we've got a sink there's a butcher knife and a, a brush a hairbrush and there's one clasp and I'll show you the other clasp on the outside there and it, it really honestly it, it closes and locks up really really smooth so just clips right on inside there clips right closed and then you can kind of fold everything in ladder first and then again you see those ridges so the top very very smoothly shuts and locks down very very easy and, and very very beautiful set so before we get to the minifigures i want to take a look at the different little things that come with the set of course first we've got thunderbird i love the white and gold absolutely love the colors very very mobile you see the neck moves mouth opens up here to show a little bit more of an aggressive stance we've got four wings you got two up here and then four in the back so you see four mini wings and then it does stand on its own here and then the first stickers which go on top next up is probably one of my favorites we've got okami the beautiful pinks blues and purples just really really go together well they're very, very visually pleasing. I absolutely love this dragon. Love, love this dragon. Can't say enough. You've got the gold horns on the back, the twisty neck, and a very, very difficult mouthpiece here. Hard to get open, but we got it open there. Jarred the neck a bit. Let's fix that. And then, again, you can see the gold, pink wings, gold horns, and just all the different colors and beautiful details here. The final beautiful beast here, we've got a rumpant, which actually means bursting through the surface, if you didn't know that. This is an incredible creature, beautiful rhinoceros. You can see they've got the you know, printed brick for the eyes. Not too hard to build, but gosh, it just really pulls the, the whole set together. So let's dive into the minifigures. First up in the minifigures is Queenie Goldstein. You can see she's got her Pink top torso, pink back torso, two faces, a frightened face on the back, and of course, a very happy and, and excitable face on the front. You see the printed back of the torso, and of course, the lovely pink front torso and legs, and you can't be a wizard without a wand. Next, we've got Tina Goldstein. She's got her nice little tea kettle. Nice, beautiful brown hair, unlike Queenie's, which is golden. You've got two different faces here, kind of a, a content smiley face, and then on the front, just a very shrill looking face. Again with the wand, definitely can't be a wizard without a wand. Next we've got Newt Scamander. Now he comes with Bow Truckle and Niffler, so you kind of get a little three in one here. As you guys can see, I got him hanging out in Newt's hand, in Newt's hand and off to the side. Newt's got two faces, a little frightened face on the back, and just his content face on the front. Moving around here, we've got his wand, which with bow truckle looks a lot like a carrot, but we'll just save that for another video. And last but not least, we've got Jacob Kowalski. He's got his helmet on with his little chin strap, as you can see, revolving around the helmet. Now, the nice thing about this helmet, it does come off, of course. There is a double face, so he's got his face on the back here. 
and he comes equipped with hair. Now, I'm gonna rotate this around. You see he does come with his umbrella accessory, but notice how you can see the chin strap there? So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna just leave the helmet on because I don't like the fact that the chin strap shows and I have some goggles that'll actually go on this helmet that will make this helmet look really, really cool out of my Lego friend set. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you later.